Welcome back art students. In today's lesson, we will recreate Georgie O'Keeffe's Oriental Poppies. Georgie O'Keeffe was an American artist best known for painting flowers. She painted what she saw around her like New York City skyscrapers or desert landscapes or even bones around her home in New Mexico. She was an original artist. She simplified shapes and colors that made her art special and unlike anything that was ever seen before in the art world. When painting flowers, Georgia liked to fill the entire canvas Ready to begin? In this lesson, you will need white paper, red, black, yellow, and orange acrylic paint, paintbrush, a cup of water for rinsing your brush, painter's palette, and possibly markers, orange, yellow, red, and black. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to start by using a red marker to draw my shape of my flower. We're going to be doing two poppies, so I'm going to do two center circles for each poppy, one on the left and one in the right corner. Okay, we're going to stretch our petals right off the edge of our paper. Poppies have six petals, so I'm going to try to squeeze six petals onto the frame, the picture here. All the way off. You can't see the end of that petal. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll sneak a six petal in there. Okay, let's do this lower flower. So this flower is going to sort of be behind our large center flower. So when we make our petals, we're going to have their ends sort of hide behind our big poppy. One, two, three, four, five. And don't worry if you don't have six petals. It's going to be very blended in the end. Okay, so I have my two poppies there. Now, you don't have paint. I've, I have markers, um, and I have an example to show you what it might look like using markers. So this is using markers. and paint. Okay. Okay, so we are going to start with our orange. Dipping my paintbrush to sort of loosen it up a little bit. Now, I want to get most of that water off my paintbrush. And I'm going to be starting with my orange today and I'm going to trace all around that petal that we made, filling in all of the petals. Don't worry if you go a little bit over the line. And Georgia O'Keeffe liked to fill the whole canvas with her paint, so make sure you don't leave any white spots at the very end of your can uh, paper.
now our other flower. Okay, all of our petals of, uh, have their first coat of paint using our, our orange. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to give our poppy some red highlights. To do that, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in my red. I'm going to make some lines in my orange, kind of pushing that paint right through the petal. Just a few, maybe three to four lines. Some will be shorter and some will be longer. Our other flower. Okay, I have some nice red detail in my poppy petals now. Now I'm going to rinse my brush a little. Get off that water. I'm going to paint yellow around my poppy petals. Now my colors are mixing and I think that looks really nice. all the way around. Trying very hard not to leave any white space between my colors. I'm not painting very much, just a little bit of yellow. Okay, now we're going to go back over our orange and red and put drag some yellow right through our poppy, starting at the center. Maybe let's just do three.
Okay, rinse your brush just a little. We're going to go back and we're going to fill in the background with our red paint. Filling in all those white empty spaces. You can take your paintbrush between each petal to separate the petals. Draw one, maybe just a little bit of red down to the, the center of your flower. Get your red here and then just a little bit of red down. Remember not to leave any white in your painting. A little bit of red down the center. Tracing that yellow line. Try not to cover that up. That yellow line leaves a nice little spot of light on our flower. All the way to the center. Now filling in these little small white spots in your painting. I see one there. All the way down to the center. Down to the center, there you go. Okay, now well, let's check to see if we've covered all of our white parts of our piece of art. I think I have. Okay, that looks great. Okay, let's rinse our brush. We're going to use black next. Oh, too much water on my brush. Okay, to make our center of our flower, we're going to use black. We're going to fill in our circle shape that we drew. Do our other flower. Okay, now there is some beautiful detail inside of a poppy, and we're going to draw a few of these little black spots that come out. So we're going to let's draw two sides and sort of a bumpy top like this, and then we're going to shade in that black shape. Okay. Let's draw another one here. One, two, 
close the top, shade it in. Another one here. One more. Okay, so with sort of a dry brush, we're going to get some of our paint off. We're not going to rinse our brush, and we're just going to simply drag our paintbrush, make a very gentle brush lines up and out of our center. Touching your center. Okay, let's do the same for our other poppy. I'm going to give it that detail, one, two, close the top, fill it in. One more. Okay, so using sort of a dry brush, we want to get a little bit of extra paint off our brush. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to pull some of that black up and out of the center. So touching the center, just going to make some black lines out. Okay, you have your very own painted red oriental poppy. I wanted to show you also um, an example using markers. A quick example, if you don't have paint, I'm using acrylic paint, maybe you have tempera paint or any paint um, that you like. So let's try doing one with marker. Okay, so let me rinse my brush. Put that to the side. And quick example using markers. Okay, just like our painted Poppy. We are going to use a red marker to start. We are now going to shade in our poppy with, uh, let's see, we'll do orange. Um, I think actually we're going to start with our yellow. We're going to leave some yellow on each petal for a highlight. So choose one side of your petal to leave some yellow. And you're just gonna trace it. And that color, coloring in half, but I'm just doing a little bit of yellow on each 
at all. Okay, now let's do our orange. We're going to shade in our whole, the rest of the petal orange. Try not to cover up my yellow right now. I'm not leaving any white spots. I'm going quickly, but you know, you can always pause the video to take your time. I just wanted to show you two different types of materials that you can use in case you don't have this at home. Okay, now we're going to shade in our background behind our poppy in red so it'll be hard to see sort of how big our poppy is. It'll look very large in the end. Okay, using your red, I'm going to shade in all those white spots around my poppy. Okay, I'm going to do a little check and see if I've colored in all those white spots. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to take our red and we're going to add some red marker, um, some red highlights through our poppy. So starting at the center, you can use, if you have a marker that has a fat sort of wide side or a point, use different, different parts of the marker. That's a wide side. Here's the thin side. And I'm just going to go right over, not coloring in my whole petal because I want to see some of the orange and the yellow highlights still on my poppy. Some short, some long, some fat, some thin. Okay. Now we will make the center of our poppy using black. Okay, so trace your round center in black. Shade in your color. Same on the other. Round center. Okay, so now we're going to add the detail in the center of our flower. So we're going to do one line up, another line up, and sort of a bumpy top, shade in that shade black. Don't worry about getting all the black, as many as I get. Maybe your flower is smaller or bigger. You can just try to fit them in there, but leaving some balance so you can see the poppy between each black. Okay, so now we're going to take, I have just, I have a marker that has a small tip, so I'm going to take my small tip and I'm going to touch the center. I'm going to make very gentle, soft lines coming out. Center, circle, soft, gentle lines coming out. Okay, now we're going to take the tip and very soft, gentle lines, straight lines, touching the center and out. There you have it. You have your poppy using markers instead of paint. Can you tell the difference? And there you have your very own oriental poppy, just like the one Giorgio O'Keefe painted. Thanks for painting with me today. Bye.